how you're going? Been a while since I've done one of these videos, but I kind of felt inspired to be honest. I looked at my candle. Now this is a dusk candle. I can't remember what collection it was. It was um, something to do with ice cream anyway. And this candle smells amazing. It smells like a dessert. And it's got awesome little drips down the side. And it got me thinking, I'm gonna turn myself into an ice cream because it is Halloween, so kind of cute. And I don't know, I'm just gonna go with it. We're gonna turn myself into an ice cream, not literally, like not um, head to toe into a cone or anything like that, but um, you'll see. Let's, uh, let's get into the video. I'm going to be doing my face makeup first and then we'll move on to the second step of doing the rest of the ice cream look. Um, as usual, I'm gonna be using my Urban Decay Original Primer Potion to prime my eyes. And then I blend it in with my finger. Now usually I would set my eyelids with powder, but because I'm doing something with my eyes, I probably won't set it to powder till I need to, or until I need to with the look, because I think what I'm sort of doing, it might interfere with a bit, but we'll see. I'm next gonna be doing my brows, and I've got the Benefit Brow Styler in the shade three. And it's the one with the crayon tip um, at the top and it's got the powder compartment at the bottom. I'm going to be using the tip to carve out my eyebrows. I don't necessarily need to do too much on my brows. They do look a bit crazy. I'll set them in a minute. But um, I just sort of find this eyebrow is bigger than this one. So I sort of try and bring this one up a little bit to sort of match it. Just by doing little strokes and as you can see it now is much more level with my eyebrow I'm now taking the benefit 24-hour brow setter which is a clear sort of brow gel on a wand um, to set my brows and I'm going to be using this um, old sort of benefit pencil that I've got but it's got a spoolie on the end so I just do that with my brows once I've put the wax on it the wax kind of sets it in place and I really like this brow wax benefit brow products to me are the best in the business I haven't really tried anything else but um you know I know what I love and I stick to what I know so once that is done I move on to the face um, I'm going to just quickly prime my face with the Morphe setting spray um, it's a setting spray, but I really like using it as a bit of a primer just to sort of freshen up my face before I apply my foundation. And then I fan it in a little bit just to sort of set it a tiny bit so it's not as um, damp. And then taking a beauty blender, this is like the Morphe sort of version, um, Morphe Beauty Sponge. Um, I'm going to be using the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Makeup in the shade 1C1 Cool Bone. Uh, absolutely love this foundation. It is my tried and true. It is full coverage, um, doesn't move all day, and it's a favorite. I love it. I do sections at a time. I don't just dab them all over my face and then go ham on it. As much as I probably could, I just tend to find I work better when I do it in sections. I do blend the foundation in, I just sort of dab, um, and I sort of drag it a little bit. People don't like dragging. It works for me, so I drag. Dab and drag, that's what I do. <laughs> Hashtag dab and drag. I'm just gonna be taking a little bit of concealer just to cover up that little spot there and there. Um, I'm just gonna use the Benefit Boing Concealer um, in the shade number one, because I'm light as hell. Not a bad thing, but sometimes it's nice to be a little bit tan. Can't relate though. So I'm just going to put it over just those couple of spots and I always just do a little bit in my brow bone because um, I just tend to have a little bit of redness and discoloration there and look at that it's almost gone usually I would do my foundation and everything last after I do my eyeshadow um, but because we're doing something different today I've done my face makeup first because it'll make it a lot easier. Um, now I'm not going to set my face with powder like I usually would um, because what I'm about to do is going to make it a lot harder 
to sort of work with. I've got a gel eyeliner brush, which is just the Morphe M443, a nice little precision brush. And I've also got the Revolution uh, Makeup Revolution gel liner in just the black color. So I'm gonna dip my pencil into the gel liner. It's a bit tricky because this gel liner has already been sort of touched. Now I'm just going to take my pencil and I'm probably gonna have to, and I'm just going to That's so messy. It's okay, we'll clean it up at the end, but just bear with me. I'm going to start doing sort of drips on my face. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna make this strip smaller. The drip is definitely not as perfect as I would want it to be. Um, last time I got it pretty good. I feel like I maybe went too wide here. I don't know. Could turn up in the end. Okay, now for this side, I'm going to be doing a bit of a, a cone moment for an ice cream. Um, I know this is already that, but I've got the same pencil, pen thing. I'm really hoping this will work. Now I've got the shape, it's all good. I'll fix it up later. I mean, that's not terrible. <laughs> so now using my brush, not doing any other paint, I'm going to be cleaning it up a bit um, and getting rid of this little blur here. I'm not happy with this cone, guys. I'm really not happy with the cone. So I'm going to... <laughs> Wipe this part off and go wider. This is the annoying thing with doing your makeup beforehand. Because if you make a mistake, it's pretty clear. <laughs> okay, that was a long, complicated process. I've got my drip now, I've got my ice cream cone. Um, I'm going to fill it in with colour and then finish it off. So for my eyes, I'm going to be going with the Morphe and Lisa Frank palette. Um, this is a beautiful palette. I'm only using this purely based on the colors that are in this. You know, bright, beautiful colors for ice cream. For pastels, I'm also probably gonna be dipping into the Morphe um, 35i Ice Fantasy palette based on the pastels that are in this and the glitters. I'm gonna be starting with my drip and I'm probably gonna be diving into the Murphy, Morphe <laughs> Morphe 35 i Ice Fantasy. I'm going to be diving into this sort of greenish yellow up here. And because it's a pastel, it's not going to come through as hard as what a, like a normal colour would. So I'm going to go in again, but I'm not going to tap anything off my brush. And that sort of works better. Next colour I'm diving into is this turquoise shade. Then going into this sort of um, violet blue shade. I'm then going to be going in with this purple right here and then finishing it off with this pink. Now that I've sort of done it, I'm just going to be going over them a little bit with just um, a fluffy brush just to sort of blend them in a little bit to each other. So now that's the drip done, now I'm gonna move on to the cone. For the cone um, shade, I'm just gonna be going with this little light sort of grayish brown right here. And now for the top of the cone, I'm going to be using sort of a hot pink, um, and then I'm gonna put some pink glitter over the top. It's nice and sparkly. I'm going to be diving into the Morphe Lisa Frank palette and going in with this very bold bubblegum pink right here, just on in the old brush. This is the brush I use for pink because um, pink stains, as you can see. So I'm going to use that one. I 
So I might do a bit of a lighter pink on my lid, just sort of blend it in a bit. Now I'm just going to mix between these two lighter pinks um, for my lid. Now for the glitter on the top of the pink, I'm going to be using the Huda Beauty Mercury Retrograde Palette. Absolutely stunning palette. I'm going to be using the shade Hot, no sorry, Supernova which is this shiny metallic pink right here. And I'm just going to be taking that on sort of a flat brush um, any old flat brush there it is there and I'm just going to be placing it like so and that is stunning it's still got the pink there but now you can see it's got a beautiful tone of shimmer to it now to add a little bit of sprinkles on top of the ice cream I'm just going to be going in with the uh, Morphe 35i Ice Fantasy and using this really stellar glitter right here. Just to go over my lid a little bit with that side, I'm just going to be using the Huda Beauty Mercury Retrograde Palette again. I'm just going to be going in with the shade Ultraviolet, which is this sort of shimmery sparkle purple here. Highlight my brow bone just a little bit on this side. I'm just taking a bit of a shimmer, any old shimmer really, and just doing it like so. Now I am going to be doing a tiny little bit of contour on each side. I'm just taking the Hula, uh, the Benefit Hula Quickie Stick. Um, I probably can't do too much, but I'm just going to go like so, like so, and blend it out. And then just taking a bit of setting powder, I'm just using the Huda Beauty baking powder. Um, I've just got some in the lid. Um, I'm in the shade Cupcake and I'm just going to be quickly going over my face like so with the setting powder just to make my face not as shiny. Trying not to really touch the areas that have got colour. And then just taking um, a bit of a fluffy brush, I'm going to be doing a little bit of blush as well. Um, I'm going in with the Jouer Bouquet a more six shade blush palette um, I don't really know the names of the blushes but basically I'm just looking for a blush that's a very light pink so I'm going to be using this one I'm going to finish off with some highlight on my cheekbones I'm just going to be going in with the benefit um, boxed highlighter in the shade cookie it's this beautiful sort of light champagne shade and this is such an intense highlight absolutely love it i'm going to be doing mascara i was going to do some eyeliner but i think we might leave that i think we might just do some mascara so i'm just using the morphe make it big mascara at the moment i don't really actually have a mascara i'm just trying to use up all these little trial size um, free samples i get with my Mecca Beauty Lip Box or you know free gift with purchase that kind of stuff so I really don't have a favorite at the moment so I'm just gonna be using what I got To make my eyes really pop, I'm going to be just using a white eyeliner in my um, lower lash waterline. Um, so I'm just using the NARS Larger Than Life Longwear Eyeliner. It doesn't tell you the shade, but it's the white one. I'm going to be using the NARS um, 
velvet matte lip pencil in the shade Let's Go Crazy. It's sort of like a hot pink. I'm now going to be going over with the Fenty Beauty Lip Cream in Bubble Binge. I got this Jouer, it's a Jeffree Star Jouer collab um, and I'm only using it because it's got beautiful pink but it's got the reflex in it, all the sparkles. Um, but Jouer do have a clear version. Um, you can use anyone, I'm just using this because I've got it. I love it and I think it'll go perfect with this. And then once that's done, we set the face. I'm just using my Morphe um, setting spray again. Fan it off and we're done. And here we have it guys, the completed look. I'm wearing like this little rainbow, rainbow t-shirt or singlet moment to capture the color that is. I didn't know where we were heading with this. I really didn't. Um, I'm so happy with how it turned out. I really could have done this. Sorry, didn't mean to flip you off. Um, I really could have done this drip a little bit more inwards. Um, the white eyeliner definitely helps the situation. Um, I'm loving how the cone came out. I was going to do those little checkered like waffle bits, but I kind of like, kind of like just how simple it is, you know. And um, the lip gloss, super shimmery and pink. Um, the drip and the purple I just I'm I'm so stoked with how it turned out like with when I do most of these videos I really have no idea what I'm doing until I actually press record I don't practice this <laughs> I should probably practice um, practice makes perfect I know I just I, I kind of wing it I feel like I just get creative I feel inspired in the moment to do something and then I do it and it could turn into Zaza and I just don't upload the video or it could turn like this and I upload it and go you know what First try Fridays, even though it's Saturday night. Um, this this it just comes in my head like, yeah, someone's obviously probably done this on Instagram. I haven't looked at any of that. I literally saw my candle. I remember doing a drip before. Um, I smelled my candle. I was like, oh god, that smells like ice, ice cream because it, it like looks like ice cream. And I saw the drips and I was like, oh, I could do a drip. And I'm like, oh, ice cream. I could do a cone. And it's sad now. I have to wash this off and go to bed. Cameron must have got a win on a game. Um, <laughs> so thank you so much for watching today, guys. I'm glad we could be on this journey together. Um, I know it was a bit random. It's kind of Halloween, spooky season, cute season. And you know what? It's just a hell of a lot of fun. Give me a big thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't already. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you on my next one. Bye.